Hi guys, in this video I want to show you a foolproof way to do to factor something like this where you've got a number in front of the x squared, a coefficient that's not one. This can be really tough. Uh, lots of teachers will show you, you kind of have to guess and check, uh, you know, what goes where. And uh, I've got a foolproof way that'll make this work every time. There are steps, it works out really great. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do when you have a problem like this is you want to take the first number and the last number, multiply them together. I want to just write over here, we're going to pretend that I have x squared plus 17x plus 30. Now I got the 30 from multiplying the 3 times the 10. So this is not what we have, but we're going to pretend that it is. We're going to factor this to start. And now, uh, no, because we just have a 1x squared, now this is easy to factor because you just have an x times an x. What multiplies to be x squared? x times x. Now you have to think about what multiplies to be 30, but adds up to 17. And again, that's relatively easy. Um, sometimes it makes, uh, makes it easier to write a list of all the things that multiply to be 30. 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, and 5 times 6. And I'm noticing that 2 and 15 multiply to be 30, but add up to be 17. So that's going to be my, my choice, plus 2, plus 15. Now, here's where you have to kind of do something tricky. Um, just a moment ago, we multiplied the 3 times the 10 and got 30. And now we have to undo that because this is not the problem that we had. So if we multiply by 3, now we have to undo that by dividing by 3. And the dividing goes right here underneath the, the two numbers. And if the number, if this comes out to be a nice whole number, like 15 over 3 makes 5, then you keep it. But if it doesn't come out to be a nice whole number, like 2 thirds, then the 3 comes up as a coefficient. So this is going to be 3x plus 2, and this is going to be x plus 5. And now we have successfully factored what we started with. And you can check by using FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. 3x times x is 3x squared. The outers are 3x times 5, that's 15x. The inner is 2 times x. Last is 2 times 5, that makes 10. You can see these two add up to be... 17x, we got our 3x squared, 17x plus 10, all good. Uh, let's try another problem. This one uh, would be really, really hard to do uh, if you were to just guess and check because, you know, if you kind of set up your parentheses like you would, you know, expect to see in a typical class, what multiplies to be 8x squared? Lots of stuff. What about multiplies to be 9? You know, several different, a couple different things. And then trying to get the inners and outers to make 18x, that would be super hard. So we're going to come over here and do pretend uh, 8 times 9 makes 72. So we're going to say pretend x squared plus 18x plus 72 is what I'm wanting to factor. Uh, and now I'm going to factor that instead. And we know x times x makes you x squared. And now we need to think about what multiplies to be 72. Lots of stuff. 1 times 72. 2 times 36. 3 times 24. 4 times 18. Uh, 6 times 12. Uh, 8 times 9. I'm looking at this list and asking what multiplies to be 72, all of them. Which ones add up to be 18, 6, and 12? So we're going to start out by doing x plus 6. And x plus 12. Not everybody needs to make a list, but it helps me a lot. Um, so now we earlier multiplied by 8. Now we got to divide by 8 to undo that. And one extra catch here is if you have a fraction that can be reduced, you must reduce it first. Otherwise, this will not work. So 6 over 8 reduces to 3 over 4. Uh, 12 over 8 reduces to 3 over 2. This reduces by 4. This reduced by 2. And now neither of these comes out to be a nice uh, whole number, so we're going to bring <clears throat> the 2 up as a coefficient and the 4 up as a coefficient. 4x plus 3, 2x plus 3. Let's check now. That's, that's done, but just to be on the safe side, we'll check. 2x times 4x is 8x squared. 
3 times 4x is 12x. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 3 is 9. And you got it. Uh, 8x squared. This makes 18x right here. And then plus 9. That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, I hope this helps out a lot. I'm going to do one more example. And, uh, and like I said, I hope this makes factoring uh, quite a bit easier for, easier for you. Uh, we're going to do one this time with a negative in the middle. 10x squared minus 19x plus 6. And I want to factor this. Uh, and uh, let's kind of give a little line there. 10 times 6 is 60. So I'm going to do x squared uh, minus 19x plus 60. This is my pretend, I'm going to say pretend uh, uh, expression, quadratic expression. And so I'm going to factor this now. And I know we're going to have x and x. And I need to know what multiplies to be 60 but adds up to negative 19. So I'll write my list. 1 times 60, 2 times 30, 3 times 20, bunches of things, 4 times 15, 5 times 12, 6 times 10. I think that's it. Um, so uh, um, we've got 4 times 15, and uh, uh, how about this one right here, 4 times 15. Uh, now, the catch is 4 plus 15 does not make ni negative 19. It makes positive 19. So you have to, in this case, put a negative four in and a negative 15. And the reason is negative four times negative 15 will add up, or oh, sorry, will multiply to be a 60, but negative four X and negative 15 will make your negative 19 when you add them up. So that works out. We previously multiplied by 10, so now we've got to divide by 10. And like I said, you've got to reduce this to uh, two fifths and reduce this to three halves because this reduces by five, this reduces by two, and finally, you bring your bottom number up as a coefficient. So you get 5x minus 2. And then you've got 2x minus 3. And we'll just check it in our heads. 5x times 2x is 10x squared. Uh, minus 3 times 5x is minus 15x. This makes minus 4x. Minus 15x and minus 4x makes your minus 19x. That looks good. Minus 2 times minus 3 is 6. Um, so like I said, I hope this helps. This is kind of my foolproof way to factor a quadratic expression like this when the number out there is not just a one. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I've got tons more videos. Uh, check them out. And also, I love your comments. Keep them coming. I'm trying to reply to as many as possible. Uh, so everybody have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.